Happy New Year, Aries. I hope you guys are doing fantabulous. This is going to be your January 2024. Can you believe it, Aries? Cannot. I cannot. Even though I'm ready for 2023 to be done with, I cannot believe we're in 2024. So let's see what spirit has for you. Now, you know how we do this. We're going to start with the bones and the charms first. Then we're going to move into um, the tarot and follow up with the goddess oracle. And we're going to pull a couple of cards from the empath oracle also for some additional advice for the year. So whew, we got a lot. We got a lot, Aries. Let's see. I will shoot, Aries, if I can get everything in my hand. Oh, God damn. All right, Aries, here we go. Aries, Aries, Aries. Some of y'all may be going to visit a female or a female may come visiting you because she was the first one that fell out. Let's see, Aries. Woo. All right. Let's see what's going on. Aries, if you hear Jasmine vacuuming in the background, she is redoing her room. And I'm so happy for her. So Aries, first we got Mojo Money Hand, coin up right in the money. Money is coming. Um, your face is down. Could be missing some opportunities in your money sector, but it looks like that you are manifesting money because your purse is upright. Um, we do have flexibility on top of money. It's not face down, but it's not upright either. So I feel like that there is some opportunities that are coming in that maybe you have not really looked at yet. Um, I'm not going to say you're going to miss them because I don't think you are because we got money here. It looks like all this money is in a holding pattern, which means that it may not be right there in the bank account yet, Aries, but it is coming. Now, relocation and a question mark in your home makes me wonder like if there's a move, but I don't know where I'm going. Or I know there's a move coming, but I'm not sure when it's coming. It looks like within the next four, maybe four to six months, there's going to be some type some type of change in your living environment. And this could be um, that this is not a, a move that's right down the street. For some of you, relocation could be a different city, a different state, or a different country. But the question mark could be exactly what is that. Now, on the other side, we have the boom, boom, pow, which sometimes is something unexpected, which means that for some of you, this could be a big move that you weren't anticipating. And that could be where the question mark is like, okay, now I got to go find an apartment. Now I got to go find a house. We have a new job that's coming in and the world card is next to it. So for some of you, you may be offered a job somewhere, but you may have to get up and relocate. Transformation is coming in on top of your home, also in your spirit messages. So I think 2024, I, I was going to say be prepared for some big changes, but for some of them, I don't think you're going to be able to be prepared for it because they're going to come in really, really fast. And that could be like, okay, what the hell? What am I going to do? If you've been looking for a place, it may have slowed down in 2023, but it looks like there's more money opportunities that are coming in. And there's a big move that's coming in with this. You're manifesting money. Your uh, anchor is upside down, which means some of y'all are moving towards stability, but you haven't quite got it yet, um, which means I need some stability in, but I don't know exactly um, when it's coming in. You okay, Jazz? All right. Um, but I do feel like that there is stability that is going to be coming your way. And for some of you with the nine of pentacles, this is on top of a business self-employed. So if you are starting something and you've been trying to manifest um, bigger payouts or something with a business, um, for some of you, this could be just starting something up and it's like, okay, like when is it going to go ahead and take place? We definitely are getting that there's something there. Don't give up on it. It's just not coming in as fast as you want. Dr. Bag is on this nine of pentacles, which means some of you need to look at rebranding, restructuring your business, how you promote your business. Are you promoting your business? Um, the blossoming is on top of this, which means in 2024, this business can grow, but you may need to go ahead and, and with the Dr. Bag, fix some things up with it. 
And um, I don't know, I'm rebranding and doing some other stuff this year that I just really dropped the ball on on last year. So for a lot of us, it could be that let me try something different to see if this is going to work for me. Now, I am getting Defending Yourself, Trickster Energy is coming in, the good spell work on top of money, which means that there may be some gossip. We got Evil Eye Energy and we got a group of people. Um, this is around self-employment, which means that you may have some people that are talking about you or be careful of manipulation, that you're not giving away more services or discounting your business too much. We do have a lot of talk, but what's happening is instead of this being big money, we have a venturing, which means you have little money that's trickling in here and there. Be careful that you're not selling yourself short. Um, I know a lot of people don't like to raise prices or um, especially if you think the, com the economy is too bad. And, and I'm going to say this, people spend money on what they want. They do. Even if they don't have the money, I have saved years for something that I wanted. Like my teeth, my God, I saved <laughs> because I needed it. I wanted to have it done. So when we start thinking for people and saying, oh, they don't have the money to do this or to, they do, they just have to be inspired to want to spend the money. Some of you may have um, people that you're talking to that are giving you a little bit of money when there's opportunity for a lot more money coming in. So don't sell yourself short. Evil Eye Energy is there for some of you. You're dealing with a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, possibly Water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, be careful that you're not losing a lot of money with conversation, like you're telling people things that they can do other than um, buy it from you. Maybe somebody's asking you, oh, how did you do that? that painting with the gold leaf and you're like, well, I did A, B, C, D. And then they go to Michael's or Hobby Lobby and they buy all this stuff and they recreate it when they literally could have bought it from you. Or maybe you make spiritual products and somebody's like, oh, I need a cleanse. What's the best way to do it? And then you give them the ingredients and they do it. And spirit got on me y'all this year about that. They were like, look, um, you need to make the baths. You're a priestess. You don't need to be giving people the recipe to make the bath because it's not the same bath. And I was like, I didn't think of it that way. So some of y'all might be getting that message from spirit. And I'm just saying, be really careful though of people that are playing with your money. And um, this could be like in business, y'all. So money coming in, but if there is a business, you need to be selling your products. You need to be getting paid for what, if you're a counselor or a therapist or whatever, and somebody's coming to you for advice. Um, if you got friends and family discount or you just like, I, I don't mind helping these people out. Cool. Balance that energy, but make sure you're getting paid. Love. We got demon head. Watch out for somebody who's tricking. Now, demon head and love could be interesting. This could be somebody who's very passionate, very fiery. They could be nasty, freaky, freak of the week type of energy. They could might be in some, some weird type of fetishes or something like that. Um, my, it may not be bad. This could be somebody that is toxic. For some of y'all, this might be toxic in a good way, though. You know, use your discernment with this. I do see the coffin nail there, which is protection. Um, this could be a friend turns into a lover, and then you're not seeing. Oh, it's, it's we got two different energies. We got the dog over here, which is somebody who's really nice, cuddly, and loving, and then we got demon head up there. Could this be a choice between two people? It could be. Could this be the opposite coin of a person? Like they might be nice at work and then a freak in a, you know, the sheets or whatever. So I do see something opening up with love for you. Just be careful with the skeleton hand up here that you're not dealing with somebody that's just pulling a lot of energy. This could be also you. You could be an energy vampire or somebody that is just connecting with people to pull energy, or they could be an energy vampire pulling on you. Skeleton hand is always somebody that's taking something away and not giving something back. If this is a love relationship, make sure it's reciprocated. If it's not, you might get old. I see the road opener, which means that there's potential for something to develop here. You might need to put your boundaries down when it comes to somebody that you're dealing with. We have a new job coming in. Some of you, though, you may be feeling like you're not in position for this job because the knees are bent. This person is not upright. So this may be that, oh, I don't have the education for this job. I'm not physically in a place uh, to be doing this job. Let's look at health. Oh, bullet case and in your health. Some of you may be having issues with your legs. So maybe there's a new job that's coming in. 
uh, it doesn't have to be physical. This could be an office or something, an office job, and maybe you have nerve damage or you have sciatic or you have lower back pain because we've got bullet casing coming in with your health. So there may be some stuff with joint pain or back pain that you're going to have to deal with, or there could be a health issue. Bullet casing is basically go to the doctor and get checked out if you're having any issues, because it looks like that you're starting something, but you're not starting something in um, the best of shape or the best of conditionings. Could be too that just be careful of illnesses that are coming in. We got COVID, we got this pneumonia thing coming in, we got the flu making its round. I'm congested with allergies. So it's a lot going in. It could be recovery on top of this, but if you're trying to start something new, it may be like, ah, oh, damn, I just, I'm not in the best physical shape to do this right now. Transformation is there. So if there's a job situation that's coming in, this is going to be something that helps you grow, helps you learn. For some of you, there's a big move that happens with this job. Um, it could be moving to a different city, different state, because we do have relocation. And like I said, you might be offered a job, but then realizing, oh man, I got to move quick. Or eventually there's a move that's going to be coming in. Spirit messages are showing a demon head. Let's see what the card is. Eight of cups on education. Uh, be careful of somebody who's not using your knowledge or who is using or misabusing your knowledge. Maybe you're teaching someone. Um, this person is misguided or using it a certain way. For some of you, if you are into the darker arts or dwelling into something deeper, this could be you going deeper. And it doesn't have to be a demon head. This could be a cultural thing. Um, could be a god or a deity that you're learning from. Um, and for some of you, if you're opening to demons or whatever, did y'all see the aura reading on TikTok about Doja Cat where they were like, she's surrounded by demons. She made packs with demons and she loves her demons and her demons love her. I was laughing so hard. And they just threw this big black circle around her. And it was so thick because it was like, oh, she has a lesion of demons. Now, are there people out there that do, that work? Absolutely. Some of you could be learning from now. So Doja Cat, girl, if you're looking at this reading, you keep going with your demons, girl. They got you. Oh, my demons sing. sing it, Jazz. Whatever. That's it. Okay. That's it. Is that the one with the skull, with the big spiders coming out the ceiling? Mm -hmm. Well, hey, I ain't mad at you. Sometimes, you know, uh, people look at deities and things as negative, but for some of you, you're learning. You're learning from a deity or an entity um, that is teaching you. And I would say a deity. I think that, that it, when you look at this, this is power. Now, for some of you, this could be major spiritual growth, but it may not be conventional, which means, oh, you know, like uh, people loving light, the angels and, and all that stuff like that. That may not be your cup of tea. You might be dwelling into something a little bit deeper. Um, and I feel like that there's knowledge there and it doesn't look like it's hurting you at all. So if you are and this is not going to apply to everybody, I have a feeling who it applies to because I have a favorite, a favorite Aries that may may or may not dwell into things like this but i feel like there's a lot of knowledge and a lot of growth that's coming in all right we got a past love that is coming back in now it could be past love in this life could also be past love from another lifetime but i am getting somebody who is coming back they're upright so this is somebody who's been watching you maybe they had their eye on you this could be somebody who's just been thinking about you we're in mercury retrograde until the first and then we do have the post period afterwards so be prepared, Aries. There may be somebody who's like, hey, what you doing? Do you miss me? I miss you. This could be somebody who is deciding that they want a second chance. I do see a lot of spirit communication coming in this month with you guys. There's a lot of protection around you. They are telling you be careful of legal situations. If there's fees and things that need to be paid, make sure you take care of it. Some of you, there may be some type of settlement or something that has to come in with somebody that you need to deal with. Now, I am seeing your travel is upside down. If you've been trying to go somewhere, make sure that you are looking at your tickets, your passport and everything. Make sure everything is good because there could be delays. The sun is upside down, could be weather delays. It could be that something happens and you have to postpone your trip. But I will say get insurance if you are flying or taking a train or anything. If you can get insurance on it, definitely get insurance. Bad spell work. Somebody is trying to mess with your crown. You're upside down. Now, we did see gossip. 
So some of y'all may have a person that's coming in that's trying to cause some type of insecurity, mess with your head a little bit. I do see that there may be um, some conflict with spirituality, but it's in your money sector. So if you have a spiritual business, there may be some conflict that's coming in with how you make your money or how you do your money. And like I said, evil eye energy, if you've been giving stuff to people free, that could be a problem. If you've been having people that are talking about you, there may be an issue with that coming in too. That kind of messes with your money. A lot of y'all, I feel like there's a lot of communication that's coming in this year. And it could be on top of your money. Some of you may be public speakers. You may be readers. You may work in customer care. You may be retail. But I feel like there's a lot of openings and opportunities with communication. You do have opportunities that are coming in. But we have evil eye energy on top of it trying to block it. The sword is there, though. So I think you're going to be cutting away some people. Some of you, it looks like that you may be cutting a relationship with a female Um could be water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. There may be some jealousy or envy there. And it may be that you're taking a step back. Also could be that you're also having issues with Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, immature energy. Some of you are walking away from drama. And I do see family drama in a family, possibly with a male. He's not flexible. There may be some concerns about money. But I feel like that you're standing your ground with the vertebrae. Manifestation hat is upside down. If you're trying to bring money into a home, I feel like that there is going to be something that opens up. Some of you are going to be teaching. You could also be taking classes that open up financial uh, opportunities for you. There is a lot of communication coming in the next couple of months. Be careful of some of the people that you communicate with. I am getting trickster energy, which could be some people that are about bullshit, but it looks more so on water signs and earth signs, y'all. Not sure what's going on with water and earth because you got two different areas where you're looking at people where maybe they are not, I don't want to say they're being dishonest, but it may not be their agenda is for you. Let me see. Ten of Pentacles is on top of you and Three of Cups. This is opportunities to make money. Vertebrae stand your ground. Conch shell is money coming in. I do see up here traveling. There may be some type of emotional event that you're going to be taking uh, taking place. This could be a spiritual journey for some of you. Some of you could be going to visit um, a person that you care about. There's a spiritual connection or an emotional con connection. I am getting money coming in. There we go again more with communications. Just watch that you don't have people taken from you this year. There definitely is an energy exchange that looks like it's a little bit unbalanced. Um, if there is, I see you walking away from any type of drama. Be careful of your stress levels because it looks like it could cause some type of health issues. Some of you, you're being asked to make to do more spiritual baths, especially in this uh, negative work. You're face down. Some of you, you're not looking at opportunity or issues that may be coming at you. You have somebody who's really trying to mess with your head, and this could be causing confusions, slowing you down. Somebody that is, oh, Lord, not a cat is going to play with the toy. we got the vacuum thing going and the uh, toy thing going. Some of you, I definitely feel like wrap your head when you sleep because you definitely have somebody that is trying to mess with your head spiritually. For some of you, this could be a person that you work with, and they're just making you feel like you're insignificant. You do need a spiritual cleanse. So for some of you, I would say go to the water and make your spiritual baths. Um, there is lost love with family. So you may be falling out with somebody this month where it's like, you know what? I really don't feel connected to you. This could be somebody you also work with or an organization that you're in. And it's like, I just don't feel connected. You know, there is some dark night of the soul with spirituality and losing money. So if you're putting money into something, say a religious ceremony, make sure that you're getting everything you want because I see conflict on that. Don't let somebody tell you that the price is one thing and then when you get there, they're trying to get another $5,000 out of you. Um, be careful of manipulation this month. And for some of you, I will say this year, especially when it goes to, comes to your spiritual growth, your spiritual journey. For some of you, there's a lot. Bullet casing keeps wanting to come up. So, But I feel like that the warning is watch what you do with people, especially with finances, also connections that you're making with people.
and giving away things for free, Aries. Don't do it. Let's see. Aries, Aries, Aries. Any guidance, any messages, spirit, Aries. Aries. Probably should have waited till she did her floor, but I wanted to just make sure that I got y'all in. Aries. All right, let's see. Oh. Okay, so first card comes out, move. The world card, completion, travel. So I will say you're putting money towards a trip. Could be a spiritual trip. Could be going to visit somebody that you feel attached to. Um, you're probably waiting for money to come in. And it looks like that this year coming in is going to be a decent money year for y'all. And it could be an amazing money year if you are managing your money in a good way. Some of you, I feel like you're going to be going, taking classes. Some of you might be traveling out to take classes. For a few of you, I feel like there's also a spiritual ceremony. Be careful um, that you don't piss your money off because there's relocation. So we got a big move that's coming in that may take a little, you know, nest egg for you to move. Now we got the wheel of fortune in reverse, bad timing. So there may be some traveling that's coming in. And remember, I felt like something was going to come in really, really fast and you weren't going to have a lot of time to make a decision about it. This could be that one could be something going on in your house. I don't want to say eviction. But for some of you, it could be something like that where it's like, okay, you need to move. We sold the house. Now it's time for you to go look for something else. For some of you, it could be a job opportunity, which is amazing, but you may have to travel to wherever this location is for this job. You're going to feel like it's bad timing. Strength card is on top of you in the upright inner strength, patience. I can do this. Let's make it work. Two of swords, indecision. The strength card is telling me that you can do this, but for some of you, there is some confusion, some worry and stress because the timing may be off uh, and there's worry about health. And remember, I told you that you had a job or something that's opening up, but we got the nine of cups in reverse and this is poor health, difficulties, needing to confront the truth or deal with something that needs to be healed. So it looks like that you get an opportunity that comes in really fast. You feel like the timing is off. The strength card is like, okay, I'm in a position. I can do this. But then we get worry and stress. Why? And it's because I may be having health issues or I may be in a position where I don't know if I can do whatever this move is. Um, Nine of Pentacles, though, in reverse is seeking freedom breaking free of something. It's like, I feel like where I'm at, I'm being taken advantage of. So I want to move. Some of y'all could be living somewhere. You could be connected to a business or something or a job. And it's like, I just don't want to be here anymore. Something opens up and it's like, I'm ready to move forward. I'm ready for this change. The strength card is there. The timing may be a little bit off. I'm worried about it because some of you may be having some type of issues. Could be health, could be money. I feel like for some of you though, it's almost like, Millie, is that you? could be a health thing, but it's like, I really need to make this happen because I'm not happy where I'm at. So let's see. Yeah. Knight of Wands, impatient. It's like, I need to get out of this. So say uh, you're a massage therapist like I am and you're having back pain and you're getting offered a job to go work at this really amazing resort, but your back is, is jacked up. It's like, do I let this go? Because I know it's going to be a really great opportunity. Do I push through the pain? And it's almost like I know I need to heal, but I'm impatient. I'm impatient. So I need to push through it. The judgment card is basically an awakening, a new perspective. So it's almost like I'm going to figure out a way to make this work for me. Now, let's see. We got the six of cups. This could be going back to something that you used to do. This could also be a person that is coming back in. And we did see that past love coming back in. Um, I feel like moving in with the Six of Pentacles, coveting. Somebody may have thought the grass was greener on the other side. Maybe they chose differently and now they want to come back and try you. Also, it could be you. If you were the person that walked away from a relationship, it could have been, well, I thought this was going to be work, working out better for me, but now I realize that I made a mistake. Um, 
either way it goes, somebody feels cheated in a situation. They feel like I need to go ahead and have another go around with this. This could be somebody who's coming back from the past who's very um, apologetic for what they did because they have regrets. It could have been that maybe they were trying to get to know you and then at some point it didn't work out because they went a different direction and, and then they come back and it's like, damn, I should have spoke or I should have talked to this person. This also could be you. It's a general read. Maybe you wanted to talk to someone and see where it could go and you didn't say anything and now there's you see them being happy with somebody else and it's like, damn, I should have said something. I don't know. I feel like there's going to be some type of second chance or reconciliation that's coming in. Now, two of wands is planning, strength, success, support, putting something down. Hangman energy is something that's moving slow, but it's making a decision of I want to I want to move forward, but it's moving a lot slower than what I want. Because we have something that came in quick, but there was something that slowed you down. A health issue, money, indecision is about it. Some of you, it could even be that do I get back together with this person? I'm not sure. Then we have, okay, let's plan something out. Sacrifices, let me start putting this money to the side. Let me not buy these clothes. Let me not go to Starbucks. Let me not, you know, spend money on these video games. I need to start putting money to the side so that I can move forward. Then we get the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, quarrels, family. Somebody in the family may be like, okay, look, um, why do you need to move now? What are you going to do? Are you going to help us financially? Like, what are you trying to do? If this is an organization, it's like, okay, you said you were obligated or committed to us and now you're walking away. So there may be some slight obstacles. Deception with the moon card, confusion, disbelief. Somebody may be having a hard time believing that you're moving forward. So you may have make it, you may be making a decision of something is opening up for me. I need to go ahead and strike while the fire is hot. But I know I got these other issues, but let me go ahead and start making a plan. And could be people see you starting to pack your stuff up, get ready for it. And they're like, what are you doing? Somebody is feeling like you're being deceptive with them. Like you're walking away from me and you're not telling me what it is that you're trying to do. If this is not you, this could be somebody doing this to you where they're walking away and you're like, okay, you didn't tell me you were moving out. You didn't tell me that you were getting another job. I feel like with the moon card, something is going to come to light. Two of Pentacles juggling money, trying to get the money together. We have temperance, trying to find balance, moderations, patience, adjusting, and then the empress giving birth to something new. It's like I'm wanting to start something. Ace of Wands, yeah, something comes in quick. I want to start something new, new job opportunity. Somebody is going to feel like that you're walking away from them. Um, and you're not telling them anything. It could be also, like I said, somebody doing this to you where it's like, okay, I got to go. I got an opportunity. I'm out. Somebody's getting a new opportunity that they're giving birth to that brings balance into their life. They're juggling money, trying to make it happen. Ace of Wands, something comes in quick. New job, new opportunity, business, action. Let's see. High Priestess in the Upright, trusting your intuition. Queen of Pentacles, business, organization, organizing, stability. And then we have the emperor. Possibly move into a position of authority or working under somebody who is in authority. This could be a boss. So some of you, I think that you're going to get some type of amazing opportunity. And I feel like it's going to come within the first five months of this year. And it may be something that comes in really, really um, fast. And it's like, you're going to have to make a decision. And a few of you are going to be like, I don't know if I can do it. Let me see. There's some issues that I need to work through. And I don't feel like this job is going to stay open for long. And that could be where you're feeling like, I really need to make a move on this. I really need to move forward. You're giving birth to something new. And then we have creation. For some of you, this is a pregnancy also. Something that brings balance in. You may be finding out that you're pregnant and it's like, I need to do better for my children or I need to be do better for myself. Whatever it is, it pushes you into this mode of creation, new job, opportunity, high priestess, trusting my, my intuition, my wisdom, queen of pentacles, focused on my business and my money, emperor card, authority. Um, some of you, I feel like that there is an, a, an interview or an opportunity that's coming your way. And a few of you, you're going to have problems with a father figure or an authority figure. 
because of that. But we do see acceleration, travel, overseas, big moves coming in. You're going to make a decision to move forward, Aries. But you may not have a lot of people that are rooting for you. And some of these people, I feel like it's more masculine energy. Um, maybe they're questioning what you're doing. Maybe they don't understand what you're doing. Doesn't mean that you're wrong, though. High Priestess is on top of you. Trust your intuition, Aries. If there's a big business move that you want to make happen, it looks like that you're going to make it happen. There could be something with moving in silence until you're ready to move, but it looks like that there's a big relocation that's popping in for some of you. For a few of you, you're going to drag your heels on it because you're trying to figure it out. Spirit is like, make the plan. What are you trying to do? So let's see. Goddess Oracle. What do we have? Okay, this fell out. Let's take it. Fertility. Some of you definitely, there's a baby coming or you're giving birth to a new opportunity. Are you looking at the water fill line on that thing when you're filling it? Because it looks like you're overfilling it. The water's not soaking up, though. Okay, then that's not right. Something's not right. Okay. So fertility is coming in, giving birth to something. Let's see. It's the perfect time for you to start a new project, access new ideas, and give birth to new conditions. Movement, baby coming in, new job. Um something that is opening up or something that you have created. Don't back down. Let's see, stand up for what you believe in that's right. So for a few of you, you got opposition with whatever it is that you're trying to create this year. Doesn't mean that you have to let go of it, but it does mean that there's some obstacles. And I feel like too, that for some of you, you need to do a cleanse. You need to get some things, some gunk off of you to move it forward. Home, definitely a move that's coming. Your household situation is proven either through a move or a healthy change in occupants. Some of you, there's somebody moving in or out your house, or for a few of you, this could be you moving in or out the house. And then final card, boundaries. Love yourself enough to say no to others' demands on your time and energy, which means that you may have some opposition. And we do see this. We see giving birth to something, fertility, opposition. Planning a move to move forward, opposition. So I will say you may need to push some people out the way, maybe not listen to some people, put your blinders on and stay focused on what you're trying to create. Because if you let people get into your head, it looks like it may either slow you down or keep you stagnant. Now, for some of you, it may not be this big thing where it's like, I'm not going to stay here and do this. I'm going to do it anyway. But that could be where the conflict is coming in, Aries. But you're a fire sign, and typically nobody's going to make you do anything that you don't want to. But with that question mark, I do feel like that some of y'all may be dealing with a, a situation that comes in really, really fast, and you're going to have to make some fast decisions about it. You may not have this whole year to plan this out, Aries. All righty. So let's see. Let me get this under here. Uh, let me get the glare off of it. So we got set limits with draining people. Remember where I said energy vampires? When people are depleting you, kindly set a limit such as I only have 10 minutes to listen now. Um, Self-care is important and, and respectful and empowering. I have to do this with a friend of mine. Um, if I don't give him 15 minutes of talk, he will stay on the phone six hours. And I'm like, okay, I got shit to do. So I'm like, you got 15 minutes to give me the highlight. And if there's something else that I feel like we need to discuss, I'll put, I'll add more time. But everybody that we know gives him like a time limit because he goes, we all hear the same story. So it's like, he's not taking anybody's advice. There's no changes. He just wants to talk. Some of y'all are dealing with people that could be like that. All right. I feel like there's this big energy that's coming in where you really need to figure out how do I set limits on my time? Even if you like it, you might be an energy vampire yourself, but the whole thing about it is some of you are being depleted by people that you're dealing with. This is find your purpose. When you feel like you don't fit into this world, remember you are here to help create a better one. So I feel like that there is going to be some type of growth that happens spiritually for you. And we saw that where some of you are going to be connecting on a deeper level with something um, 
But I feel like that this is going to be a positive thing for you because it may lead you to where you need to be. All right. Let's see. Final card. Opinions are the lowest form of knowledge. Don't be thrown off by others' opinions. Simply say, I appreciate your input input and do intuitively what feels right for you. Pretty much your whole reading. Opposition, I'm going to do it. Opposition, I'm going to do it and do it. Because it looks like that some people are going to have an opinion on about what you're trying to do, what direction you're trying to go into. If it doesn't pro propel you forward, then you really don't need to be putting energy into it or listening to it. You're already finding your purpose. You're setting your boundaries with people. You're focused on what this purpose is. And some of you may have people that are trying to talk you out of it. Spirit is like, you don't have to listen. You don't have to pay attention. Let's get one more card to see how that is going to work out with you because I feel like that there is an energy okay tame negative thinking when a negative thought arises experience the feeling behind them and then shift to a larger more compassionate perspective some of you you may have somebody who is trying to make you feel inadequate or make you feel that you're not good enough and it goes against who you are it definitely goes against who you are. Some of you might not be in this energy. I feel like there's some self-doubts that may be coming in because we did see your crown upside down in the bad spell work sector. But this could be somebody also trying to make you feel inadequate or make you feel like you're not good enough for them, Aries. And I think that that may be you having to put your, your intuitive insight into this and ask why. Why are they doing this? Why are they not wanting to see me move forward? Why are they not wanting to see me grow? Whatever it is, there's a lot of opportunity that's coming in. You don't need to let people sway you to their side if it's not really what you want. And for a lot of you, I know you're not, but it could cut the conflict off if you just shut it down. Like, okay, I don't want to hear it and walk away. Some of you, you may be living in an environment where you can't help it. This person is constantly talking and you're moving out because it's like, I don't want to deal with this anymore. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to have to hear it. I don't want to be in this environment. New job is coming in. Relocation is coming in. Some of you are moving a far away a distance from family so that you don't have to deal with them or people that you just don't want to deal with, period. Do what's best for you. It looks like this year is about you. Money coming in, opportunity coming in. Shut people out if, it, if it's not effective for you. If it's not helping you grow, shut them out, Aries. All right? I love y'all. Happy New Year.